Today we'll be talking about a very important um, uh, topic for renal pathology and it's actually the other um, uh, medical emergency in, uh, in renal pathology, which is uh, thrombotic microangiopathy. Um, lecture today will be a long time. The concept is uh, no uh, easy. And um, uh, we will go over them. There's a lot of theory. Um, and I will be sending you uh, a paper to um, the uh, um, على ال uh, page uh, after we are done with the um, uh, uh, we lecture مالتنا اليوم. I also have a little treat for you guys at the end of the uh, lecture. Uh, we will go through um, a case that I have um, taken pictures of um, and نطبق اللي تعلمناه من اللكتشر على الكيس. Right, so um, uh, thrombotic uh, microangiopathy, two diseases um, come to mind. Thrombotic microangiopathy is uh, about occlusion. Uh, it's just a, 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 a tuft of capillaries. And um, uh, it can be used to angiopathy. Zain, but not in the form of vasculitis, لا, ولكن occlusion uh, of the, uh, the blood vessels, of these capillaries. And this um, uh, occlusion leads to the thrombosis anywhere in the body, and the blood uh, doesn't go through, uh, it will lead to acute renal failure. Um, uh, and it will lead to a shutdown of the kidney. So that's why it is a, uh, a medical um, emergency. Do you guys hear me? Okay. Um, so um, uh, when we talk about thrombotic microangiopathy, um, we are talking about um, two uh, main entities or two uh, main diseases. Uh, thrombotic uh, thrombocytopenia purpura, and uh, humilit uh, humilitic uremic um, syndrome, right? And um, these are يعني, two different uh, entities with two different uh, pathogenesis. The TTP type, the thrombotic, uh, thrombocytopenia purpura type, uh, uh, thrombotic microangiopathy, this is rather in the systemic coagulopathy, okay? Uh, it affects it, it all the blood vessels all over the body, and the kidney. And then, um, usually, uh, this is rarely observed uh, for kidney biopsies, and then disease is systemic, or يعني, they already um, uh, made the diagnosis. Mungkin in the measurement had uh, Adams 13 enzyme. Uh, one of the causative uh, factors had the thrombotic thrombocytopenia uh, uh, purpura uh, type of uh, thrombotic microangiopathy. And that's basically um, uh, Adams 13 enzyme will be fit in that it cleaves, chanted the caron, the von Wilbrandt uh, uh, factor. The von Wilbrandt factor, Hadi, it, 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 it uh, basically it helps in uh, breaking down uh, the platelets in uh, the uh, um, uh, smaller smaller platelets, and it helps in uh, coagulation. For, for there is there has to be homeostasis. There has to be balance uh, between the enzymes with von Wilbrandt. فإذا كان ما عندنا هذا الهوميوستاسيس الادمز 13 يكون لو الفون ويلبرند فاكتور هذا doesn't get cleaved ممكن ان احنا يصير عندنا consumption حق البليتلتس مالتنا البليتلتس مالتنا اللي get consumed زين يقوموا يتلصقون في بعضهم البعض في الاماكن مالت البايفركيشن ال في the smaller blood vessels, uh, and this will lead to consumption of our platelets. من هالشيء اللي صار عندنا thrombocytopenia لأن they got consumed. The platelets مالاتنا they got consumed. Okay. فصار عندنا bleeding في أماكن وصار عندنا thrombosis في أماكن ثانية. 
وهذا this is systemic يعني أثر على ال يعني throughout the body all of the uh, organs in the body. Uh, the uh, the uremic syndrome uh, type uh, thrombotic microangiopathy uh, almost always uh, affects يعني, the kidney predominantly and it's observed for kidney biopsies and we will talk about the different uh, causative factors يعني, we are more familiar كان تذكرون من البيدياتريك روتيشن مالاتكم those uh, individuals of you اللي هم they have um, recently done their um, uh, internship بيذكرون ان الشقلة والشقلة لايك وال toxins ممكن تعطينا hemolytic syndrome we will talk about this um, uh, more um, uh, يعني in detail. Um, so, خلينا نشوف خلينا نشوف the different types. الحين ال TTTP زي ما قلنا this is a systemic disease. Um, uh, we are in uh, it's يعني thrown by throughout the blood vessels and they are platelet rich. يعني فيهم wide platelets. فبنشوف the blood vessels they are occluded بهاد لين the thrown by and uh, uh, يعني Actually, uh, يعني, how do you differentiate between this TMA and other types of TMA? Chuffle the endothelial cells that are flat. Then they are quite flat. And, um, and uh, you don't uh, uh, see any swelling of the endothelial cells. When had the thrombi they detached and a uh, lumen of the blood vessels, just like, you know, just um, thrombosis throughout the blood vessels. Um, uh, how does it look within the glomeruli? Again, we have an occlusion of, uh, of thrombi, and then an otherwise normal uh, capillary walls. زين بس إنه صار عندنا thrombosis. شوفوا هاي ال 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 capillary wall in the normal glomerulus. Uh, it's rather thin. Uh, this is PAS. Again, this is PAS, and we see you can you can you can uh, يعني highlight you can outline uh, ال 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 wall ال uh, glomerular basement membrane مال ال uh, glomerulus. Right, uh, this is uh, mason trichrome, as I mentioned, fibrin and the mason trichrome, it looks red. Then, so uh, we can see it here in the uh, uh, fibrin, uh, the thrombi, it, this is basically uh, they're staining red uh, within the, lo the lumina of the, uh, of the glomerular tufts. Um, uh, mungkin saat in uh, thrombi, uh, especially if they are a bit older, they might be endothelized. Mungkin is there endothelial cells. Okay, فإذا إحنا شفنا كل هذه الأشياء uh, normal looking um, uh, شو اسمه uh, capillary uh, walls ويا هاد لين كل هاد لين الثرومبي we will think in a most likely this event of thrombotic microangiopathy in the kidney is due to TTP then it is due to thrombotic thrombocytopenia purpura. Establishing um, this is important على أساس أن clinician um, uh, يعني is able to make the diagnosis. طبعا um, uh, already هم they might be suspecting it. إذا شافوا أن عندهم في ال um, uh, low platelets زين إذا كان patient عنده anemia إذا كان patient عنده uh, إذا كانت المستشفى يعني سوي uh, تقيس حق Adams 13 وكان عندهم low Adams 13 they will be able uh, to already هم يشكون أن most likely acute failure in this patient uh, عنده uh, um, uh, يعني acute renal failure uh, and he has a little bit of hematuria. It might be too thrombotic, uh, uh, thrombocytopenic uh, purpura. Uh, Lakin, I know we are helping them in establishing this diagnosis. Um, this is not to be um, يعني, um, uh, mixed up or confused with uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation. Can be uh, one of the uh, manifestations of sepsis. Because in this case, it will be uh, fibrin-rich rather than platelet uh, 
uh, rich. And uh, uh, this is rarely observed in kidney biopsies. Um, uh, we can um, yani, uh, see it in autopsies. Um, uh, uh, basically, it's, 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 it's fibrin rather than, than uh, uh, platelets and, and causative factors are, are different. Yani disseminated intravascular coagulation is because of the use up of um, platelets. Um, what? Okay. Um, uh, and the first thing is hemolytic uremic uh, syndrome, uh, TMA. The hemolytic uremic uh, syndrome, TMA, uh, unlike TTP, TTP is a problem with the platelets, and the level of Adams 13. هني احنا عندنا injury that uh, يعني antigens um, uh, 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 we will look uh, into the different factors we will talk about uh, typical HUS and atypical HUS um, basically the hallmark of this injury uh, HUS TMA the injury صارت حق endothelial cell okay the endothelial cell got injured got irritated, it's unhappy, صارت swollen, and then what occluded the lumen, وقامت ال RBCs uh, uh, gets fractured, and then uh, عدنا ال subendothelial area هنا صارت edema, uh, and um, uh, uh, basically uh, يعني what's happening إنه بيصير عدنا fragmentation في ال RBCs. فإذا إذا إحنا طالعنا Um, uh, features which is for example the electromicroscopy. Electromicroscopy has the TTP, as we said, the TTP TMA, and the, the thickness of the capillary loop, itself, the glomerular basement membrane, is within normal limits. The lumen is occluded by platelets. And if you look at the platelets in the blood films, um, uh, basically um, they're just round. Basically, this is how platelets look like. So this is a platelet rich um, thrombus within the lumen. On the other hand, it's um, a uh, HUS type uh, thrombotic microangiopathy. And we have an occlusion. This lumen is the lumen. You see the lumen only this one. And this is because the endothelial cell is very injured, very swollen, miskin is alana, and it became very, very swollen. It and it occluded the lumen here. It can even cause kind of like ischemia within a subendothelial area, and it can have a flocculent. Fluffy material, it's like it's fluff, fluff, fluff. Right. But again, we have injury to the endothelial cell. It's a narrowed lumen. It's a bubbling thrombus. And then, because of the injury, the endothelial cell, it's a expanded subendothelial zone. Um, Hadi, the fractured RBC, as you know from your uh, hematology, is uh, uh, schistocyte. Then Hadi, kind of like um, fractured RBCs, and we actually can um, uh, diagnose and uh, suspect uh, TMA. For ممكن إن إذا ال patient uh, presented with acute renal failure um, عنده hematuria uh, they're suspecting إن هذا ال patient ممكن يكون عنده thrombomicroangiopathy uh, like injury يروحون يطالعون ال peripheral blood smear of this patient وبيشوفون إنه هو عنده schistocyte وليش عنده هذا لين schistocyte why why are these red blood cell uh, fragmented زي ما قلنا we remember إن ال kidney filters all the blood that is in the body فلما هادلين ال RBCs المساكين يقومون يطوفون في محل كلش ضيق it's very very tight uh, uh, they get fragmented they get uh, injured they get uh, bended فهذا اللي يسوي لنا ال schistocyte right 
Um, uh, this is a quite advanced um, thrombotic microangiopathy, uh, HUS type, and hemolytic uremic syndrome type. Lumen wadded, uh, يعني, uh, um, narrowed uh, in the subendothelial expansion. يعني, you just get um, uh, oriented. هني. هذا Bowman's capsule. انزين آه هذه عندنا this is ال شو اسمه ال epithelial cell over here ال parietal epithelial cell آه هذه ال uh, over here this is our um, uh, شو اسمه دي um, خلا نوتي تحكم where is it format stamp draw Okay, so um, this over here in Zane is our um, uh, glomerular tuft. Okay, and this is our podocyte in Zane. And Zane ma gilna, hada bikon la outer la. This is our, uh, this area is our um, uh, epithelial surface, okay, visceral epithelial, our podocyte. Uh, over here, and then this one over here, had the endothelial cell malatna. Well, endothelial cell malatna, mendofcha, edematous, all right? The area that uh, it has, the expanded. Chufu, lana wain the lamina densa malatna, kiha lamina densa malatna. Okay? Fahadi al masafa min hini ila hini. من هني طالع من هني إلى هني this all of this هذه sub endothelial surface and this is expanded and have flocculent uh, material. Uh, um, uh, why does this happen? Right, I'm gonna just mute everybody. And then, um, sorry, share the computer money. Lord Almighty, what's happening? And then, uh, for the subendothelial surface, any malatna, started expanded, and the whole, يعني area, المفروض إن هني كل عدنا lumina, all of it is um, uh, completely occluded. عدنا بس lumen صغنون هني, and then, and um, uh, this is because of the uh, occlusion اللي صار uh, because of the uh, edema of the um, uh, endothelial cell مالاتنا. Um, uh, طبعا يصير عدنا ischemia. لما يصير عندنا اسكيميا زي ما قلنا يصير عندنا هذا لين الاكسبانشن والفلوكيلنت ماتيريال اولسو وي ويل هاف ميزانجيو لايسيس الميزانجيو مالنا بيبتدي ذكرون نفس المصل لا المصل لما يصير عندنا اسكيميا شو يصير في المصل بريكس داون رايت نفس الشيء بس هذا ذس از يعني um, قلنا الميزانجيو سيلز ار اولموست لايك موديفايد مايوسايتس زين فهذا لين بعد يصير لهم ميزانجيو لايسيس Um, but this is in the later stages of uh, TMA. Khani um, all of that so that we carry on. All right. Okay. Um, okay, let's carry on. Okay. Insane. So then, in in light microscopy, what we're gonna uh, see is basically again, as we mentioned, the subendothelial expansion, the endothelial uh, uh, cell um, uh, swelling, and then we can achieve occlusion uh, with uh, thrombi or um, red blood cells. Maybe if it was uh, overgrowing for a long time, the RBCs they will become fragmented, and even if Fragments malatum mumkin it ruhini in the subendothelial area. We will see examples. Let me just uh, see if we have any questions here. The first slide difference between each exam giving specific diagnosis. Um, bloodless capillaries can be seen. Um, uh, yeah, um, the bloodless capillaries um, can be seen and it, 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 it's one of the features of uh, TMA. 
خصوصا اذا كانت involving the hyalur um, uh, blood vessels becomes occluded لا the rest of the glomerulus ما يجيها blood it becomes um, um, uh, it becomes occluded um, uh, uh, do we have to differentiate between HUS and TTP in the exam um, I don't think so I know that the TMA doesn't really come in the exam with the FRC path if I'm if I'm honest the uh, exam um, uh, FRC path uh, diseases like gene lupus nephritis uh, IgA uh, uh, maybe pigment cost um, 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 I think these are basically the, the diseases or oh, minimal change. But I know that in the Arab board, and I see my residents and, and, and they ask me questions, um, I know that there's a lot of questions about TMA. There's a lot of renal in the Arab board. I, I, I know that. Um, uh, so, um, but I don't think uh, in the Hagim Tihan Al Arab Board, uh, you will need to differentiate between the HUS and the TTP in the exam. I think you just need to say uh, that this is uh, TMA, thrombotic microangiopathy. Um, two slides of DIC um, uh, and show them. Um, let's go with the uh, uh, smart. Let's go with the uh, uh, wheel. Um, uh, I will I'll do that towards the end. Um, because um, uh, the DIC is not, like we said, yani is not very common in the kidney. Um, uh, predominantly, it's the uh, uh, HUS um, type uh, uh, TMA, um, uh, il, whether typical or atypical. Um, that's, that's the more, the more common. Right. Um, in HUS, uh, for light microscopy, we could add lane and basically a shriveling of the uh, uh, wrinkled um, uh, glomerular um, uh, tufts. We could add an expansion of the subendothelial. We don't have it here, but we could add mesangiolysis. And can you see these guys? Delen over here. These are fragmented RBCs uh, in the subendothelial. They don't belong there. Uh, the RBCs, as we know, they should be in the uh, lumen. But what are they doing here in the subendothelial? This has to make you think. It has to uh, basically uh, make you think of: Am I dealing with um, TMA? Um, uh, mumkin, uh, very rarely, it could have fibrinoid necrosis via via TMA. Um, and of course, we talked about the schistocytes or the broken RBCs. Um, and um, يعني, fibrinoid necrosis, TMA, how does it look like um, under the uh, uh, il, il immunofluorescence? Uh, it depends on the etiology. And uh, as we know, uh, يعني, we'll discuss TMA can be also seen in lupus nephritis, for either lupus nephritis. We will have um, a full house يعني, staining in, in all the immunoglobulins and all the complements. But usually with TMA, it's, it's basically uh, negative. Just a pure uh, TMA because of uh, typical HUS, uh, become um, completely um, uh, negative on immunofluorescence, and we might be having some uh, fibrin um, uh, uh, within the arteriolar wall. Any, um, we will see uh, uh, fibrin whether in the uh, glomeruli or in the uh, arterial wall. Um, uh, طبعاً. It can affect the arterioles. It depends on the etiology. Again, we will be talking about etiologies. Um, in some etiologies, like in uh, scleroderma, uh, we can have uh, intimal uh, expansion within the arterioles. So, so we learn in onion skinning. Um, so it can affect both the smaller the glomeruli as well as the uh, larger um, uh, uh, blood vessels like in arterioles. So at hatta mumkin in larger caliber arteries. I, I have seen um, uh, TMA affecting uh, various caliber arteries. Likbar um, ulazgar. Okay. You guys. Okay. Um, 
uh, uh, H2S vascular occlusion, uh, uh, unlike TTP, TTP is predominantly thrombosis. Okay, uh, how that is uh, predominantly angiopathy, decoral, HUS is um, um, uh, endothelial injury. Okay, um, uh, why is this uh, important uh, away from the exam? This is important in uh, يعني your everyday life, لأن uh, in everyday uh, um, يعني uh, life, uh, you will need to pinpoint or direct the clinicians to a differential diagnosis, and uh, that's how they are going to um, uh, يعني customize the treatment while the patient. We talked about this um, uh, يعني, uh, a lot, the pattern of injury. Um, uh, one of the uh, يعني, diseases that we can give the TMA and the HUS type uh, TMA is antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. Of course, this can be seen as part of uh, lupus nephritis uh, coagulopathy uh, and uh, it will be affecting the renal arterioles as well as the glomeruli. All right, and um, uh, يعني it can affect uh, renal as well as uh, systemic uh, 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 يعني vasculature. Um, and again, um, يعني we should think about antiphospholipid uh, antibody syndrome لما uh, احنا نشوف ان TMA is affecting the arterioles as yet men the glomeruli. We should we should flag it uh, and we should um, uh, ask uh, the clinician in how to do serological tests. Right, so um, like we said, an optimum patient management requires precise identification of thrombotic microangiopathy etiology. Uh, uh, let's, let's have a look. Uh, Jalen, uh, يعني we are suspecting thrombotic microangiopathy. We have one with acute renal failure, and um, and we have um, hematuria. Maybe we have schistocytes. Um, uh, if كان had this patient in the CBC, he had thrombocytopenia. Platelets are low. Um, and uh, he's uh, uh, showing uh, microangiopathy, uh, hemolytic anemia, kind of like picture, and a fever, and the neurologic renal abnormalities, and the low ADAMS 13. Uh, uh, then uh, this goes with uh, thrombotic, uh, thromb thrombocytopenic purpura. Uh, and يعني, they will have to um, uh, يعني, um, basically um, investigate whether this is acquired because of uh, an infection or the disease or malignancy or a drug or because this is just genetic because of low Adams 13. إذا كان البيشنت ما عنده فيفر ولا عنده نيروجيك abnormalities و basically this patient ما عنده لو عدم 13 more than 10% actionable this goes more with it being a hemolytic uremic syndrome and إذا كان عنده دايريا and then يعني this goes with it being a sugar toxin producing infection. Yeah, either Escherichia coli or Shigella. Fed, this is typical hemolytic uremic syndrome, and it will be treated accordingly. If the patient ma and the diarrhea. Then we are dealing with an atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome (TMA), and this patient will need to be investigated. Hal edna antiphospholipid syndrome? Do we have systemic sclerosis? Hal edna cutaneous manifestation? Is the patient pregnant? And then hal ida lin the patient the patient the pregnant as you guys know, they see them the preeclampsia, they see them the help syndrome. يعني they produce enzymes. It can anti VEGF anti vascular endothelial growth factors. ف فهذه ممكن السبب إلى إن endothelial cell injury. Okay, throughout the body and especially in the kidney. 
Um, uh, is it because of complement dysregulation, C3? Uh, is this is drug induced? Bad drugs, خصوصاً ال um, um, uh, أي هم. Um, some of the anti-VGF اللي هم uh, uh, حق ال um, uh, hemolytic malignancies و حق ال um, uh, some of the um, uh, اللي حق stage four malignancies uh, ممكن يكونون anti-VGF ممكن إن هم يسببون إلى إن atypical HUS or TMA like I have seen a case in which uh, the patient um, تأخذ Humira and um, uh, صار إليها TMA picture. It can be radiation induced. The malignant hypertension is one of the reasons. يعني إذا مثلاً في ال history مال the patient جاء إليكم إن هذا the patient عند presented with يعني very high malignant hypertension. The the systolic ماله I don't know more than two hundred and ten. Diastolic is more than one hundred and twenty. Uh, ممكن ان هذا البيشنت يكون معرض انه صار الى تي ام اي وصار عنده مليجنت هايبرتنشن شغلتكم ديك الحزه لما تطالعون البايبسي مال البيشنت يو جست هاف تو لوك ات ايتش اند افري ليفل لوكينج فور ذات بلاد فيسل والسيستوسايتس والاندثيليال انجري اند ذا اكسبانشن اوف ذا سب اندثيليال زون um two fill questions mal outcome what type of stain used for occluded fibrotic small drain artery uh, elastic mason trichrome uh, any difference between stain stain type confusing to us um uh, uh, what we uh, what we use heck um, um we don't, يعني, we don't really use elastic van giesen um for renal biopsies except in um uh, the transplant لأن إحنا when we want to establish إذا كان في when I talk to you about transplant renal pathology we will be talking about that لأن one of the features of chronic rejection إنه ممكن يكون عندنا ال sclerosing vasculopathy so we don't really use elastic van Giesen ال ال Uh, we use um, في هذه الحالة in the kidney uh, we look at um, the trichrome well PAS okay the, our regular um, stains um, Maha is uh, micro uh, microangiopathy hemolytic anemia right and yes antibody uh, mediated transplant rejection mumkin is sabib in TMA you are absolutely right it's one of the one of the causes of a atypical HUS uh, type uh, um, uh, TMA um, uh, I think that I promised Asma and we will go over the day. But then we will discuss a case. Do you guys want? Do you guys want to discuss a case? Well, sad come to shabba. Well, are you all right? The matter okay? You're following. Let me know. Right. Yes. Okay. Case better. Fine. Um, we said in Ahna we will talk about the DIC. Okay, let's go. Let's go through the slide. The DIC is 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 fibrin rich. It's not platelet rich. يعني throughout the glomerulus, بتشوفين يعني very very bright staining على the fibrin. And and um, uh, that is because uh, all the platelets have been consumed, and it is, uh, uh, يعني, uh, as you know, the pathology malet the um, disseminated intravascular coagulation is the consumption of the platelets, right? Uh, for, um, uh, يعني, it's rarely, rarely, rarely seen, and um, and we usually see it in, in 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 autopsies. And to be to be frank with you, on a I didn't see DIC um, uh, during my training at, at UNC. On a shift here, as a as a first or second year trainee, uh, fi uh, lamakinan sa we autopsies. 
في في يو كي بس انا ما شفت اي didn't سي اي سين اولموست افري تايب اوف تي ام اي يو كان ثينك اباوت مالت الهايبرتنشن مالت الدرج انديوسد مالت البريجنسي مالت الانتي بي جي اف اي سين اول اوف ذيز بس اي هافنت سين ا بايوبسي اوف دي اي سي فيعني اللي قاعده اقوله ليش هني نظري ازيد من ماي اون اكسبيرينس يعني ذا ريست اوف ذا ثينجز اي اكشلي سين ذيم سو اتس ماي اون اكسبيرينس سو اي كان اي كان اكسبلين ات تو يو رايت اوكي ام هابي ذات يو ار هابي اسماء الحمد لله ذاتس جود رايت سو ليت مي ليت مي دو ذس Okay. Uh, الحالة اللي براويك مياها الحين هي حالة uh, scleroderma and this is a this is a real case um, uh, that that um, came to me and uh, basically the patient كانت عندها scleroderma and 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 she was um, having um, uh, schistocytes في the peripheral blood smear and uh, um, uh, hematuria and they were suspecting إن هاني ال patient عندها uh, TMA. So uh, this was the uh, the core biopsy had a low magnification at a uh, trichrome. This is times five at trichrome. And we can see uh, basically in uh, like edema uh, in the tubular interstitial compartment. Uh, uh, acute tubular injury, edna sloughing. Uh, as you can see here, um, there is a sloughing um, of the epithelial cells. Uh, and and then uh the we have glomeruli we have a few glomeruli i don't know maybe we have a, a few here they don't look healthy and yani even at this magnification we can we can tell and they don't look healthy and now one uh, medium caliber um, artery into lower artery and um, uh, yani there's almost like uh, yani sub uh, intimal uh, uh, expansion we, we can see there is um, some expansion um, in, in the intimal over here Um, the features that we had in this um, uh, biopsy were 14 glomeruli. Uh, two were uh, globally sclerosed. Uh, many of the glomeruli were in endothelial swelling with occluded capillary lumens. We had a lot of karyorectic debris within the glomeruli themselves. The tubular interstitial compartment can diffuse um, uh, mild to moderate fibrosis via scleroderma. Scleroderma, I think I told you about it, is basically edema that has been there for some time. It's like a settled edema in Shwaya fibrosis. And um, there was diffuse acute tubular injury, sibet el ischemia. The vascular compartments, um, uh, small arteries, we uh, can see them, intimal widening, uh, the influx of the myofibroblasts, and, and this is pathognomonic of scleroderma, by the way. Uh, and we can see thrombi, uh, and we will see the pictures now. And then, uh, this one shows us uh, uh, two glomeruli, Uh, one uh, medium caliber um, arteriole over here, uh, and we have the tubular interstitial compartment. The tubular interstitial compartment, as you can see, the tubules they are widened. And that is because of the scleroderma, because of this um, edema with mixed with uh, fibrosis. Uh, this is a, a proximal um, a tubule. And we cannot see the brush border, and then uh, we have a little bit of sloughing uh, of the epithelial cells. So here uh, we sloughing of the epithelial cells. So this is uh, basically um, telling us that we have acute tubular injury. Um, the glomerulus, 
there is um, sub-intercellular expansion. There is a little bit of mesangiolysis. And can you see in the uh, hilar artery, it's, it's um, kind of showing us this uh, again, um, uh, sub-endothelial uh, kind of like expansion over here um, uh, within the uh, hilar arteriole. Uh, and over here, the Caron Legilna and the RBCs, they don't belong in the mesangium, they don't belong in the uh, uh, sub-endothelial area. And this is what we have um, here uh, in the fragmented RBCs. But all these uh, features um, makes us think in the we are dealing with uh, thrombotic microangiopathy. Uh, and, uh, and there is kind of like a mucoid um, edema. And it's like it has a, this um, kind of like watery quality to it. And then it has a watery quality uh, to it. I don't know if there are any questions. How does mesangiolysis uh, 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 look like? The mesangiolysis, um, it, it's basically um, uh, expansion of the mesangium. Uh, we, uh, but uh, it's not solid. 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 It's يعني كأنه it's breaking down تعرفون السولر إلى السوسج how it looks in the skin تقريبا نفس الشيء يعني it's expanded and it's kind of like watery it's 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 it's, it's uh, uh, يعني breaking down um, I probably have uh, better pictures as we go um, um, ال arterioles يعني believe it or not this is an arteriole and then, and and it's uh, completely occluded. Had the lumen male, and it's completely, completely, completely occluded. وعندنا ال ال myofibroblasts هني صار إليهم proliferation. And then, uh, uh, and this is what is known as onion uh, skinning. Uh, and this is uh, one of the pathognomonic features HEG uh, scleroderma. Um, uh, we have um, uh, broken RBCs, fragmented RBCs, lumen and completely occluded. This is an arteriole. The lumen is completely occluded and we have um, uh, mucoid uh, kind of like intimal expansion and we have um, uh, schistocytes or, or, or broken karyorectic and fragmented uh, uh, RBCs. Right. Um, uh, this is what um, uh, this is what mesangiolysis looks like. Right. This is what mesangiolysis looks like. It's kind of like watery breakdown. You can see it here. It's like it's breaking down. It's watery breakdown of the mesangium. Um, and يعني, as you can as you can see, um, uh, uh, completely occluded, completely occluded um, uh, uh, lumina. يعني, how do you occlude it? Uh, how do you occlude it? Um, how do you occlude it? Um, how do you occlude it? Okay, and why is it occluded? It's occluded because the endothelial cells are swollen, and then you have the fragmented RBCs in the mesangium. Um, and uh, over here we have thrombosis of the hilar wall. This is all from the from the same same uh, case, and it, it's basically uh, showed uh, all of these features. Sometimes it's really difficult to find these features. Sometimes uh, all what you see is one blood vessel, one arteriole showing you uh, thrombotic microangiopathy. Um, sometimes, like in this case, the the uh, all of the kidney uh, is showing you features like uh, within the glomeruli and within the arterioles. And in immunofluorescence, uh, in this case, um, basically predominantly it was negative. 
uh, best um, uh, possible findings ما كان this is from another case um, uh, ممكن نشوفها على ال ال IF study إن على fibrin ممكن يراونا the onion skinning the fibrinogen deposition within the arterioles أكو هني عندنا one small artery هني one small arteriole هني uh, this is uh, a, a kind of like a medium sized uh, caliber arteriole هني uh, we can see that and and يعني Although this glomerulus is not positive for any complements or immunoglobulins or anything, it's completely negative. But generally, you can appreciate the outline. You can appreciate the wrinkled. Uh, there is something wrong with it. It shows there is wrinkling of the glomeruli. This this wrinkling, um, um, yeah, and it tells you that you're probably dealing with a um, TMA. على الالكترون مايكروسكوبي ويف ديسكاست الفيتشرز زي ما قلنا هذا اليومين هني كومبليتلي اوكلودد سولن اندوثيليا سيل فلوكيولنت ماتيريال اند سب اندوثيليال اريا بس حق الاورينتيشن البودوسايت هني ان ذس اللومينا هني وي ار سينج بيسكلي بارتس اوف ذا جلومرولار تافت Um, uh, this is a cropped uh, part. يعني إحنا خدنا مثلاً هذه وكبرناها. زين. You can appreciate the fluffy uh, material, the uh, flocculants um, في the subendothelial area as yet. Um, um, all of these features are features of acute TMA. Um, قبل لا أهدكم إذا كان ال ال TMA uh, chronic um, uh, uh, basically um, uh, ذكرون uh, لما تحكينا عن ال double contour uh, uh, of the uh, glomerular basement membrane. Do you remember when we talked about that? Um, uh, the chronic TMA, especially in في حالات مالت antibody mediated uh, rejection, uh, uh, basically what happens in the endothelial cells get injured, it gets pulled away from the glomerular basement membrane, and then it starts uh, uh, laying out or remodeling. تحاول إنه يتبني من جديد. زين بس قاعدة تبني على أساس غير صحيح زين تحاول انها تبني جلومريولار بيسمنت ممبرين مره ثانيه فيصير عندنا الدبل كونتور تذكرون مالت ال ال شو اسمه ممبرين بروفيتيف جلومرين افرايتس الدبل كونتورينج الترام تراك ذس كان بي سين ان تي ام اي فاذا كان عندنا ام بي جي ان باترن ويز اوت كومبلمنتس ات مايت بي سجستيف اوف ا مي بي كرونيك Uh, TMA or or a TMA that has. Right. Um. This is the end of our lecture. Should we say scleroderma or we write TMA in the diagnosis? We write TMA. نقول TMA with features most in keeping with the known history of scleroderma or in with features suggestive of scleroderma and يعني please correlate with the serology. Is EM essential role diagnosis minimal change in nephropathy? Sajantina Raha Waid Alawara. Yes, electromicroscopy uh, has any, it, um, any, it confirms, it rules out other. Um, I believe in the importance of EM. Uh, can you make a diagnosis without it? Of course you can. Um, uh, either kind of dish normal life microscopy with a more kind of immunofluorescence, um, but uh, yeah, any, um, basically, uh, it does play a role. Um, thank you very much, guys. Shukran, shukran, shukran. Does Ian to Fazi let come? How differentiate between onion skinning and hypertension and scleroderma? Same picture. What's the difference? Um, okay, El Rabia or Rabia. How we do? How do we differentiate between onion skinning and hypertension? 
في الهايبر تنشن ما بيكون عندنا المايوسايت بروليفريشن في السكيلدرما وي ويل هاف ات وي ويل هاف المايوسايت بس بيكون الهايبر تنشن از جاست جونا بي كايند اوف لايك سكلروتيك البلاد فيسل راذر ذان rather than um, the uh, proliferative uh, myofibroblasts. Uh, TTP, du'a. Tubba ni tachcha an TTP. Thank you guys. Shukran, 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 shukran. Allah yisallamukum, mishkoreen. Shukran lakum jameena. Du'a tabbi, we talk about TTP, but ahna, we will go very quickly. Let me see. وين ال شو اسمه بالعربي هاي مجموعتكم ااا very quickly okay ال T T P يا دعاء قلنا إنه هو systemic coagulopathy okay affecting all the blood vessels and all the body and it can affect كل ال ال capillaries throughout and it's basically thrombosis with out Uh, increase in thickness or endothelial injury. The endothelial cells will be lying flat. Uh, in the lumens. Then TMA, there is endothelial injury. Uh, sorry, HUS TMA, there is endothelial injury. TTP, this is just thrombosis without endothelial injury. So, because the capillary loops uh, rather normal thickness, will endothelial cells will be lying flat. بس بيكون عندنا uh, uh, thrown by. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Insane. That's it. Now, guys, ما عندكم أسئلة. Any recent cases of COVID? I do. Yeah, I do have. I do have. Um, um, I do have uh, uh, COVID, and actually, it got um, uh, published. Um, uh, COVID, they say in the kidney, and now, because now it's like an inflammatory um, condition, صح? So it might uh, basically uh, lead to uh, ATI. Okay, for the patient who can say the ATI. The other thing that they saw was the COVID, and the COVID, يعني يسبب إلين collapsing variant of FSGS. For patients will be presenting with proteinuria, will them may see the biopsy malatum, they see the collapsing variant of FSGS. And as you know, FSGS, يعني can be seen with. Uh, viral induced uh, injury uh, to the uh, um, to the to the podocytes. So, um, uh, I might show it to you later. I will show you inshallah. Wa alaykum kum. Rawi kum yaha al kesat al COVID. 